Oh, cute. Oh, it's purring, aren't you? What a cute cat. Summer, you like biting your fingers, ain't you? It'll show off, aren't you? <whistles> Gotta love cats. Here it is, sir. Look at a fat cat for a small cat. Oh. Cute. Hmm, the potential call is loud in this little old BAZ. I just um, got this amplifier hooked up. According to the diagram, I'm drawing out where all the pins are. It's got a left channel out, those first pins, leading on the circuit board. Next to a, um, a power into 12 volt. It's got a two of, I think it's one for each channel. So there's one there and one there. Then we've got um, left channel in, fourth pin. There's a ground for the left channel in ground and right channel in is there positive ground. This is ground for both channels. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight pins back. Ah, uh, yeah. This main plane here has got four pins of the um, amplifier chip grounded at the same point. It's got a mute, uh, mute, which is what like six pin six. I think you can put it, um, I think it's a 50 kilo ohm resistor and it's a series of the switch, I think to the positive, it's how you trigger the mute uh, function. Well, I've uh, wired it up all accordingly, the correct way. Mostly just how this circuit board is laid out because uh, it doesn't work quite as expected. And I also um, found out this speaker was totally open circuit. So I took the magnet off carefully. There's no visible damage or breaks in the voice coil. Only one channel was working, so I tested the speaker, and sure enough, nothing. Totally open. Multimeter test. It's uh, even the continuity test and the multimeter showed it totally open circuit. It's a bit of a bugger because these are quite unique speakers. Well, I'll plug the radio in and show you what it's doing. I have to jump. I think I jumped positive. I can't remember which uh, one of the pins I jumped to, but it started to work. I got the right channel mix, uh, mixing in the correct way, but it was, uh, the audio was working, but it was distorted. So, uh, something on this circuit board is not quite right. As it, this would have worked with the uh, a digital, like a encoder thing, which had all the sound profiles, and that would have drove this. Which did all the stereo mixing and everything. And then it hasn't got that, we're gonna to have to try and modify the circuit board so this works as a standalone um, audio amplifier without the uh, profiles that the uh, chip would have used on this. That's our positive and, uh, for the left and right inputs. Right in there, right, left goes down, and it goes in somewhere. Jumps here, goes here to this pin. Double check everything in there, that's connected the right way. What will demonstrate it. <laughs> bit jerked before I came unglued. Must have got a bit too warm. Turn that down. There's a little socket I made. Got it all connected the right way. I'll have to bridge these this to positive so I've got two sets of inputs because these are normally outputs. So I connect this up. Turn it up. And normally, uh, that's hooked up the correct way and it's not working. So I'll get me jumper lead. Now I've jumped the, uh, I think I jumped positive from the, oops. I think I jumped it to one of the inputs and it worked. Out, output, there you go. There you go, the outputs. It's distorted for some reason, so something's not right.
Right channel. And left channel. It's gone through a filter capacitor and everything and it's still distorted. I'll try and hold it a bit and do some um, balance adjustments. So I'm going to turn the volume down on the receiver and it won't actually pick the sound up. Let's try and get this a bloody hold on if I can. But hitting the heat sink and shorten out. It is working. One right channel's hooked up, so I can't get a left channel to work unless I touch on that one here. Okay, well, I just got to change how the circuit board's wired up, I think. Because I did chip or check, and according to those pin outs and where the wires are going, that's hooked up the correct way. So one of these uh, components must be going somewhere it shouldn't for this, uh, the how, I'm using, how I've uh, set the circuit up. It's a tiny bit warm. It's not hot. You can buy a circuit board for this off eBay. It comes with this, a little a circuit board half the size of that. Two capacitors, two electrolytics, an input and output, and a headphone jack input. Like that's got. So, don't want, uh, rather than buying that, I just try and see if I can do that same with this circuit board if I can. So, yeah, be a handy little bloody amplifier. They're quite common, these. Okay, viewers, let's try something else. Okay, viewers, let's get past the backs now. Uh, 2200 microfarads. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven electrolytics in there. Let's give this thing a test with an extra. Should have a bit of extra bang to it. Okay, viewers, let's plug this in. Give it a test. I've got a shorted. TDA 2030A audio amplifier had left over from a repair. Let's see if we can blow the short up so it works again, shall we? 18 watts, let's put a hell of a lot more than 18 watts for it. Yep, that's definitely working. Ah, must be open. Nice high uh, the, uh, the hose, sorry, the um, hose. Bloody wire. That provides a connection. Silly bug over thing. Yeah, nice bang. There's, uh, this is only 7.5 amp loaded cord. It hasn't got uh, much copper in there to take much of the uh, discharge current, so. Oh, I need some new uh, leads. Okay, if it was my lead all properly soldered, let's plug in, give it a test. Let's finish off this amplifier. Takes a bit longer to charge, obviously. Smoke came out. Hmm, must have already popped it. Yeah, it's welded itself. Yeah, it blew the center leg off it. I didn't bloody blow up the pieces, so it's definitely short. There you go, it's welded itself there. Power off. It's power right there, discharged. It's welded itself. Unplug safety first. We have a close look at this uh, amplifier. A bit warm. Just vaporize the center pin, which is a, I think that's the pin that's connected directly to the case. The uh, tab. I don't think there's even a crack in it. No, not even a crack. There's definitely more than 18 watts of base going through that, that's for sure. No, not even a bloody crack. Unbelievable. I was expect, expecting it to shatter in pieces, but no, it didn't. Let's charge again. Alright, that'll be enough for now, viewers. Thanks for watching.